Welcome to a world where you can learn about real life in a setting that is alive and growing just like you are. From everyday people who may never have teaching certificates, but all have something valuable to offer. In a place where everyone is a student and everyone is a teacher. This is the One Room Schoolhouse. I love it. Good morning to our friends at home. Thank you for being with us today again. We're outside this morning. We're starting class outside this morning. What do you guys think? It's so fun. It is so fun. What is, well, what does that mean? That means that class doesn't have to always be inside at desk, does it? It means that we can be outdoors in nature, right? We're always learning. First of all, before we do anything else, I've got to say, my friends here are looking really, really good today. Can my friends at home see our friends here? They look Yeehaw! really, really good. Yeehaw! I wanna say a big thank you, a big, big thank you thank to Roper for sending these kids boots, hats, shirts, ropes, which we'll play with a little bit later. They really made it where we look like what? Like so cowboys, like cowboys. So, so on, on, so on three, I want everyone to say a big thank you to Roper. One, two, three. Thank you, Roper. Thank you, Roper, very much. All righty, we've got a lot planned today with our guest, with our guest teacher. I want everyone listening, okay? It's very exciting. We got a lot to cover today with our guest teacher. So we're gonna go ahead and go into it. What do we do next? What do we do after we say good morning? Pledge Our Pledge of Allegiance. And you know what, friends? I want you guys to join us. We don't have to go back inside. We can do it from right here. All my friends come right here in front of me. What? Face the flag. And what do we do with our hats? You guys remember what Chief Chris told us yesterday? Yeah. Candy down, please. Come on, friend. All of our friends down here. Look, Miss Rebecca. Okay. I'm watching the We put our we put our heart our hat over our our hat over our heart. Put your hat, put it right here. There you go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty, my friends, get back in your seats. What? Raise your hand if you would like to say our morning prayer. All righty, Aubrey, come on over here next to me. I put my hat back on. How do we pray? Let me be quiet. Okay, eyes closed. Okay. Dear God, thank you for this day. I hope we have fun with our special guest today. I hope we will get to ride horses. Jesus name and pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank prayer. you for that she sweet prayer. Yeah. Thank you. I want to ride horses. Thank you for I praying. Want to ride horses today. Yeah. I, okay, listen, I can tell you guys are very excited. So we got to get ready for our guest teacher, but we got to do it very quietly because our guest teacher brought some special friends with him today. Now, cowboy. none of this could have been possible. It's a cowboy. Listen up. None of this could have been possible without our friends from Tartar and their generous donation of this pen. So, so thank you, Tartar, for that because our special teacher of the day is bringing a friend. You guys all want to meet our guest teacher for the day? Yeah. Friends at home, are you ready for our guest teacher? Please welcome Cowboy Jack. He's coming. Oh. <gasps> Who do y'all see over there? Can you guys give him a big howdy? Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, ma'am. How are a, you doing? I'm doing great. It's an honor to be here at Hardison Mill 
Homestead School. Is that right? Yes, sir, it is. And we're so happy to have you. And who do you have with us today? I got horses and cowboys. All right. I got well, two cowboys I want to introduce to you. I'm, I'm Cowboy Jack. That's Cowboy Pat. And this is Cowboy Jamie. But you're all here to help Cowboy Jack show y'all how to communicate with ranch broke quarter horses, okay? Yes, ma'am. How are you today? Uh, what's your horse's name? This is Cat. Cat I call this horse Cat because she's got an upside down cat on her belly. See it, Cat? Can you see it? Uh, it's in white. Ma'am? Um, that horse is shiny. Yeah, shiny when he's good, king when he's bad. Okay? He is shiny, but he's a young horse, and this is Cat. But I'm here to show y'all a little bit what I do with horses, okay? We're gonna go over several things, but this horse is a rope horse. Her job is to be heel steers in a roping pen or perform a working tasks on a ranch. And that's all kinds of things, like riding fence, um, checking cattle, uh, pulling calves, it doesn't matter. We just really, really use it all. But she's a nice mare. She's a 10-year-old paint mare. I'm gonna go in here and show you Shiny. And I'm gonna show you how cowboys warm their horses up and get them to respond before they ever think about working them. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We're gonna see. Let's see what kind of mood Shiny's in, okay? There's one thing. When you communicate with a horse, I want you to always look for their ears and their eyes. See, he's talking to Jack without ever saying a word. You know, people use voice for communication, right? Well, I'm gonna show you how I communicate with King without using my voice. All right, is that okay? Yes, sir. Whoa. There's uh, three speeds to a horse. <laughs> Walk, trot, canter. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna address, I'm gonna warm King up, or Shiny. Let's ask, ask Shiny to go at a walk. This here is my lasso, or riata, or ranch rope is what I call it. But I want to get King to move off at a walk. I'm going to work the perimeter of this round pen. You know this round pen is one of the best classrooms we can have. You've got a wonderful school. Did you know this is a classroom? <laughs> Good boy, Shiny. I'm going to go ahead and let him try. All right, our next speed is a canter. Watch, watch shiny canter. That a boy. I'm studying shiny's right, left eye, left ear. I love shiny too. <laughs> See, when I want him to stop and come to me, I raise my rope, okay? Does that make sense? Yes. All right. I'm going to go to the opposite direction. Horses have two eyes to see to the right and to the left and what's, on, what's going on behind them. So everything I'm doing is for me to get on the same wavelength as this horse. I'm trying to uh, understand what Shiny's thinking about this morning. That's a nice canter. See what he just did? Look at him come to me. Good boy, Shiny. Good boy, Shiny. That a boy. Good boy. All right, next, this is called the throat latch. This is the pole. See, he has, top of his head is the pole. 
And this is a throat latch right in here where these rope is. I'm gonna go from a throat latch to the girth. Watch Shiny, Shiny do this trick and walk through this rope. Let's see if he'll do it. Oh my. Okay, so Shiny's got the rope on him in the girth, right in front of the saddle, <clears throat> right directly parallel with the horn, perpendicular to the horn. All I'm gonna do is get Shiny to go ahead and canter. He feels good, he wants to go. <laughs> go Shiny, go. That a boy. <clears throat> Remember the communication that I'm establishing with Shiny. Good boy. He's doing exactly what I want him to do. Okay. Remember what's the other side we got to go to. Let's go to the right side. There's a right side and a left side, right? That a boy, Shiny. So pretty. Good boy. Good boy. See his ears go forward and his eyes are focused on Cowboy Jack. Good. That a boy. What a lot of people confuse is they think that I'm misusing this rope, but I'm not. I'm using it to feel this horse, okay? It's important for that horse to know what I feel like and to touch all areas of the horse. So when I do get on him, he won't buck me off, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about feel. I want the horse to know exactly what I'm talking about by feel. All right, this is called the flank. Look, that rope is hanging in this horse's flank, okay? I've got a rear girth on my saddle. As your saddle parts are on that poster, here's my stirrup. This is my girth, front girth, breast collar. Okay, Shiny's really thinking. He's talking to me. That a boy. Yeah, that's how he's talking to it. Horses are like dogs. You can talk to them and praise them. They understand praise. That a boy. Good boy. Oh boy, Shiny's working up a storm. He's doing really good. He, that's just, all that is is communication, okay? He's talking to me without ever saying a word. And all I'm doing is looking for his responses. I study his nose, his mouth, his eyes, and his ears. See, that's a question. He's going like, what do you want me to do next? Let's see if we can get him to focus on the next move. Good boy, Shiny. I like Shiny. Shiny's cool. That a boy. Yes, sir. Shiny's on board. We got three more places to go. Who can guess where else we're going to go? <clears throat> Another way to control a horse is through their feet. So I'm going to take this rope and I'm going to ask Shiny to carry it on one foot. Okay? So. See that rope? It's right on that one Shiny's foot. I'm going to ask him to leave or separate. That a boy.
When you're training a horse, it's really important to control their feet. I'm asking him to come to me. And then the, my next question for Shiny is, will you please follow me? I think he's gonna follow me. Look at here. Good boy, Shiny. Good boy, Shiny. That a boy, Shiny. That a boy. That a boy. <laughs> All right. Good boy, Shiny. Yay, Rari. Come on, Shiny boy. <laughs> Any questions? <gasps> yes, ma'am. Um, does the horse have any horseshoes on them? Does the Dad. horse have any horseshoes on him? That's what you Yes, ma'am. He's got four horseshoes. Two in the front, two in the back. How He's... come he has horseshoes, Jack? That's to protect his feet and ground. It's hard, rocky. An ounce of prevention can be worth a pound of cure. Mm. I want a horse to have a good foot. It's just like you wearing a shoe. Y'all all have awesome looking cowboy boots where those shoes protect your feet. So these shoes protect Shiny's feet. Let me show you what a shoe looks like. Look here, watch Shiny. He's going to pick his foot up. He sure does have shoes. See that shoe? It's iron all the way around his foot, okay? It protects the bottom of it. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, the horse was like me. Will the horse like her, she wants to know. Will yes, ma'am. Yeah. The horse will like you if you approach it in a, ma in a manner that you don't uh, scare it or but have I... distrust in the horse. If you feel it in your heart that that horse will trust you, yeah. and he will, then <laughs> you can trust it, okay? That's real important. That's a good question. That's a good question. And Cowboy yeah. Jack, let me tell my friends at home before we get to Henry's question. If y'all have any questions, please comment in the comments. Send your questions our way so we can ask Cowboy Jack, okay? Henry, what did you want to ask? Oh, um, I saw that white A on it with that arrow, so I wanted to know what is that. Good question. Yes, sir. That's like a tattoo. Or, or better yet, that, that's a sign of ownership. The horse is branded and it belongs to a special ranch. I bought this horse from a ranch in Springfield, Missouri, and that was their ranch. Every ranch has a brand. What we'll do is make a brand for Hardison Mill Homestead School. How you like that? Ooh. <laughs> and, and we'll put it somewhere that y'all maybe put it on a flag or put it on a fence or a poster. But remember, that's what it's for, identification, okay? Somebody that might want to take my horse and when I'm not looking is apt likely not to when they see that brand. Because it's hard to change a brand where other people, if a horse didn't have a brand, he looks just like another bay horse. Yes, ma'am. Uh, why is that like white rope there on the pole? The, the flag or the rope? She's asking, I think, about the flag and the rope. Why are the those flag? I'll show you. Let's see, I, we, I, we used a rope this morning, and I really like using lariat, okay? Uh, that, that gets one's attention, but it's just another form of getting their attention. A horse responds to what they see. And it's just another form of moving energy, okay? Does that make sense? This, this is an extension of my hand. And all I'm doing is asking Shiny to move. I'm asking him to move off, move away from the flag. Look, if I want Shiny to change and go the other direction, watch. Wow. Okay. That's just a cowboy tool. It helps desensitize a horse as far as not being afraid of movement, okay? Because they get afraid just like everybody does, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And see, that's Shiny's way of saying, could I have some praise? Good boy, Shiny, okay? Good boy. 
But this, I'm gonna show you another thing we do about warming horses up. You always check your girth, your back girth, and make sure everything is secure. <clears throat> I'm gonna tighten, it, tighten his front girth because it's a little bit loose. <clears throat> Who knows which side of a horse do you get on? Left side. Always get on the left side, all right? The left side of a horse. <clears throat> but this is one thing I wanted to show to you up close and personal, is this is called the dance. So I'm gonna take Shiny and cross his hindquarters over in the rear. <clears throat> this is just like ballroom dancing uh, with your girlfriend or with your mom. <laughs> See, he stops. I want him to back up, so I ask him to reverse. And then I'm gonna go the opposite direction. Watch his back feet cross one over in front of the other one. That's what he's doing that I like. Good deal, good boy, Shiny. All right, and always when you tighten the girth, you always take your front feet, front legs, and you stretch it where the skin won't knot up under the girth, okay? <clears throat> and see, who knows what this is called? What's that called? Yes, ma'am. Oh, this is a halter and a one lead lead shank, okay? Does that make sense? It's mm -hmm. kind of like a bridle. It's okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'd be a layup horse, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could hear. She just wished there was a little horse just like them out here. We have a little pony here at the school. Oh, house. good. Well, we'll. We'll bring that pony out in, in, into the classroom. Mm -hmm. What a nice classroom, and you can play with that pony. You're welcome to come out and touch Shiny can if you really, that? really want to. Can we do that can, now? You, sure you can. Let's do that. We let's... can do that now. But let's, <coughs> let's take two or three at a time. <laughs> let's all take turns and see how Shiny reacts to it, okay? It's okay. Come here, Shiny. Remember, right in, the, this way. And, and in his nostril? No, in his mouth. In his mouth? That's when we put the bit in his mouth, okay? Yeah, because, okay. because they'll bring him around. That a boy, and Shiny. They think it's a carrot. Nah, well, they could think it's a carrot. You're right. He, he knows what carrots are. That's for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, there you go. Can everybody touch him? You're welcome to touch him. He's all right. As long as you're not scared or afraid, long, when you quit breathing, Shiny goes, what's wrong, okay? <laughs> so don't quit breathing. Always keep your respiration going. He'll bring him to you. A horse can tell. Good dog, you guys. They don't verbally communicate, but they can communicate by biorhythms. They can tell what you're thinking before you think it. That's what's unique about an animal. Okay. Did you get to touch him? And especially a horse. That a boy. Yes, sir. That okay. Pink that pink spot? That's like a uh, skin mark. What's that noise? Can we bring that's, it down this right way? Now. Sure we can. Yes, yeah. sir. He's coming. Well, we won't ride him. We might ride Cat. There you go. That a girl. Look at there. Shiny's going like, who are you? Okay. Hundred and ten kids? No, sir. Actually, did you get to touch Mackenzie? Ten kids? Yes, sir. Did you get to touch? Get to touch See, him? shiny. Look at him. Oh, oh he's, boy. He's, he's nice, isn't he? I like his little hairdo. You like his little hairdo? He's got a neat. I was working early this morning on that hairdo. You think that's pretty cool? Yeah. Good. Keep coming, Jack. Down this a little bit more. All right, sir. I can do it. Let me come down this way. Hi, shiny. All right. There you go, Shiny. Look. Look at that. Who is that? What's your name, cowboy? 
Josh? Your name's Josh. Yeah. yeah. My name's Miss Rebecca. Miss Rebecca, that you've got a classroom full of awesome cowboys and cowgirls. I do, I do. And we have some awesome uh, we really? have some awesome friends at home watching. I have a few questions. Would you mind answering some? I'd be glad to okay. answer so if I can. My friend, where are my friends at home? My friend Bradley. Hi, Bradley, wants to know what, if any, horses like to eat grass. Do horses eat grass? Yes, ma'am. That's your major diet. Is so, The best way to feed a horse is let him eat grass. Okay. So, yes, Bradley, they do eat grass. Joshua wants to know at home. Hi, Joshua. Do they eat blueberries? Oh, that's mine. This particular horse doesn't like blueberries, but I've known a cat to eat blueberries. Okay. So, some horses may like blueberries. Some, some might not. Some might not. Okay. Yes. All righty, and final question for right now is Jennifer Colson wants to know how old is Shiny? Shiny is five years old. Five years old, Jennifer. Rebecca, Joshua and my name. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Any more good questions? That a boy. There you go. I want to touch Shiny. You want to touch Shiny? Okay. We'll come back. Yes, come down one. Come down one. Yes, ma'am. He will eat a carrot. You bet he will. Uh -huh. Carrots are good for horses. They like apples. They like apples. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Let me turn him around so you can touch him. How does? What does Shiny feel like? How does he feel? Soft. Shiny is real curious about what in the world's going on because this is not his normal for uh, habit as. He's doing so good. Working on a ranch. He's doing so good. So this this is definitely out of his uh, his uh, element, but he's taken to it. He's very oh, curious about who who are all these people. Okay. Indiana, I'm gonna bring him right to you. Okay. That girl. To add a girl. Good job. Add a girl, Indiana. Good. Yes, ma'am. Caleb, you want to reach? Yes. Yeah, Come on, Caleb. That a boy. Rick, I like wow. your big hat. Thank you. Yes. Good job, buddy. Good job. Cowboy Jack. All right. Yes, ma'am. We have another question from some of our friends at home. Nora, hold on. Let me let me find it here. Uh, Good Nora, morning, Nora. Nora and Ev, Eva would like to know how many hands tall Shiny is. Shiny is probably. I'm going to guess at 15 hands. 15 hands tall. 15 hands. Every four inches is one hand. So, four inches. Shiny is about 15 hands tall. Okay. And that's a rough estimate, but I'm going to say it's pretty close to it. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Okay. When is Shiny's birthday? Shiny was born, I think, in March. So, March. March. March 12th. All That's right. good. I think we have a lot more to learn and a lot more questions. All my friends, come back to your seat, okay? Let's give right. Shiny a little break while the Cowboy Jack teaches us some more things. Yeah. Good job, you guys. That was fun. This is a... Uh, find a spot, Indy. Find a spot. <laughs> Just so you'll know, and I want to prepare you up front, what I'm fixing to do is ground tie a horse. In other words, I'm going to ask him to stand very still Let's while see. I'll take his his tack off. Okay, his, are my his friends ready? Saddle. So I want you to understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But one thing about training a horse, if you teach a horse to give you his foot or leg uh, and teach him at an early age, then he's more apt to save himself. If he doesn't get training of this nature, then he might be apt to hurt himself. And if he hurts himself while you're riding him, well, then it could hurt you as well. So I'm teaching Shiny restriction. I catch his outside leg, I wrap four times. I catch the leg closest to me, <laughs> and I tie a slip knot. My relief valve is all that button right there. So if something goes wrong, all I do is pull that. It's kind of like a seat belt in a car. Does everybody understand? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And Shiny is fastened to this ground. He's going like, I think I'll stand here, okay? It's not, it's just a cowboy thing, but it's a good thing. His reward for doing so good this morning, <clears throat> I'll show you, is to take his saddle off. So I take the breast collar off, the back girth off, and then the front girth off. So all I'm doing is rewarding Shiny by taking off the tack, okay? We're gonna study parts of the saddle and then parts of the horse. And then I think we'll be done. It's a beautiful day to be at this ranch. I really, really appreciate Mr. Roy and your teachers to let us come to your school. I would have give anything if we would have had this at my school when I was y'all's age. I started just like y'all did, except on a dairy farm, riding a horse that my granddad showed me same things. I'm now 66 years old and I'm trying to pass this on because I think this education needs to be in every school in the country for children or for young people to be able to work with animals, horses and cattle, this might be your calling. And if it is, I hope you really follow through with it. Again, I'm asking Shiny to stand still. Whoa. I'm gonna take my saddle and my blankets off. I'm gonna stand it up. And then look how I'm gonna reward Shiny. Good boy, Shiny. He, he's, <laughs> he's a little bit tired. So he's going like, oh my. All right. What's your question, cowboy? I was going to say, what do you pull when the stuff was on him? Like a seat belt? These are, these are called hobbles. It's just a cotton rope. And I restrict his movement in the front to keep him from running off or going astray. So his mind's 100% focused on Jack, okay? Aww. That's all. He's, he's very, very knowledgeable about that. Now I'm gonna bring my tack over to the post and uh, we'll talk about tack. Yes, ma'am. Um, could you ride him bareback? Can you ride Can him I ride him bareback? Not yet, but I'm working on that. Oh. We, we probably could. Uh, we probably could ride him bareback. I can definitely ride Cat bareback. You can ride her every way, every way you possibly can. But remember, Cat is 10 years old mm. and Shiny is five years old, okay? So there's an age difference. We got Shiny and his education. We're trying to catch him up to where he's got knowledge like Cat does. He hasn't made all the... Uh, grades that he needed to yet so we're st kind of starting him over in his schooling and probably within six months time we'll have him caught up yes ma'am um uh, how old was, was him when you got him how old was he and how how old he, was he when you got him and how old is he i got him when he was four and he's five now so he's steadily learning mm. he's definitely learning he's learning leaps and bounds from what he did know. I'm just solidifying or securing his education uh, to make him, to catch him up to what Cat knows. And that just takes time. It just takes a lot of time. Good boy. Caleb, what's your question? I wanna know how you, how you work the, the range. The How range. you work the reins? That's a great question. Uh, that's a really good question. Let's let's we'll go to this other horse and I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Here's here's two things we got. Here's the hobbles, and you see they're cotton ropes. There's nothing that would hurt shiny. Yeah. That's just cotton, and it all this does is to remind him to stand still. You want to feel it? And here's the, here's the saddle. You want to feel it? That, there you go. It's really, really good to feel and touch everything. 
cotton. It's a hobble. And I know y'all been just really, really wanting to get on something. Yeah, you got your hat. You sure yeah. do. And that's a good looking cowboy girl hat, I mean. <laughs> can you really get on the horse? You can. Let me have Cat and we'll put them one at a time on Cat. Hello, girl. Is that stay here, kids? See Cat eating grass? She's. <laughs> She's taking advantage of the situation. How old is Cat? Cat is 10 years old. One at a time. How about you, Isaiah? Let, you let, pa Isaiah? let Indy's papa tell you when it's your turn, okay? That's a good way to do it. Have a seat. If it's not your Have a seat. Yes, sir. Have a seat. Whoa. There you go. How you like that? What's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah, what do you think about sitting on a horse? Whose question was it about the reins? Caleb. See the reins right here? I'm going to hook them up. And I'm going to let Isaiah hold the reins. But I don't want you to do anything but just sit right there with the reins. That a boy. That a boy. Yeah. See, if you ask the horse to back, then you'll pull backwards. But we want to just sit still. That a boy. <laughs> See, Shiny probably wouldn't take to that. <laughs> and how do you turn him left and how do you turn him right? Look here. Which, which, which was your right hand? Which one's your right hand? That a boy. That's a good one. Look. Turn right, like that, and this is turn left. Like a steering wheel. Yes, exactly. You also use your body posture, your seat bones. You'll drive your seat bones down in the seat of that saddle, and if I want this horse to turn to the right, then I'll take my lower body half and do this with it. I'm gonna get somebody else. Yes, sir. Who else wants to sit on the horse? Come on, Louis. Atta girl. Atta girl. You know what, cowgirl? Find that stirrup and swing over. Put your left leg right there. Left foot right there. He's going he's gonna to call on you guys, okay? No, no the other one. Atta girl. That one. Now stand up like climbing a tree. Atta girl. Just like climbing a tree. Good girl, cat. Atta girl. There you go. You want to hold the reins? Yeah. All right. You're getting on a big horse. Well, a big horse is no different than your pony. Uh, it, that is, if you've got a job and know how to know how to react. Pardon? I, I have ride on these type of horses. Before. Good. That's a good thing. That a girl. You ready? To, there you go, Rory. That'll help. There you go. That'll help a lot. That a girl. It's just like climbing a tree. How do you get down? You know what I notice and what I realize in this day and time is a lot of people y'all's age need to really focus on riding a horse because you're using your upper body half. Who here can, who's here that knows how to climb a tree? Good for you. Now what do you got to do to climb a tree? You got to use your arms and your legs, right? When you ride a horse, it's the same thing. Okay? It's real important. Just your hands. Well, to use your body. Okay? Yeah. Use your arms. Slide down. Cowboy Jack, how this mount. Cowboy Jack, how old were you when you started in with horses? I was five yes, years did. old. So you were younger than them. I was younger than them. Uh, my grandfather had a great big paint mare. She was bigger than this mare. But he took a toe sack. Who knows what a toe sack is? Had a girl a burlap bag, right? <laughs> well, that was my saddle, and he'd put me up on top of that burlap bag and send me to get the cows. Five years old. What I didn't know was those cows were dairy cows, and they were coming to the barn anyway. But my horse would go to the last cow and bring all those cows to the barn. That old boy, swing over. So how long have you had Cat, and how long has it taken you to, to train this well? I've had Cat five years. Five years. Yes, ma'am. And Cat was started, had a really good start on her when I got her, mm -hmm. but I also added a lot to her and have really enjoyed just using her. And horses, if they get along with you, they have their ways of talking and they can respond to you and you really, really develop a relationship, especially with a horse. Come on. I want to go next. Could you put your left leg in here? Whoa. 
Everyone's going to get girl. a chance to sit, okay? Everyone's going to get a chance. Right down here. That a girl. You get them up over the horn, okay? That a girl. How did good it, job. Looking good, Autumn. There you go. Our friend Eliza at home <laughs> wants to know if Shiny can do any special tricks. Uh, not at the moment. Uh, until he gets his formal education past him, we'll have to start teaching him tricks. So what you're saying is just like kids and humans, animals need some kind of schooling and education as well. Indiana? To form a structured life is very, very important, especially with a horse. Yes. If they don't, if they can just go and do whatever they want to do, it won't work, especially with domestication. Mm -hmm. That means being around people all the time. That's great. It's okay, boys. I loved riding horses. She sure did. did you I, know, we know Cowboy Jack because Indy's mama used to ride horses with Cowboy Jack. Wow. Yes, Miss, Miss Joy was very, very good horsewoman. <laughs> Exceptional horsewoman. And we got an opportunity to work together and she learned how to rope. So remember, all rope is is extension of your hand, okay? Can you that tell just, them about your roping and that maybe someday we bring the kids and you to your ranch and you, you can, can come to my ranch, rope. which is called Red Ranch, and you can watch us rope a steer, okay? And we can bring our ropes. Yes, you can bring your ropes. You're exactly and right. Can try with you. That a girl, Indiana. Good job. Right? I'm so yeah. proud of you. Somebody else. Hey, so you want to go next? <laughs> That's a beautiful shirt. That no, a we're girl. Coming down. We're Good coming job, down. Indiana. Okay, so Good on, job, Adrian. Indiana. You want to climb up by yourself? Now you got a you got a friend here who has a guitar. Is he going to sing one song or more than one song? <sighs> hey, if he sings one song, it'll really be worth listening to. <laughs> cowboy Pat is a heck of a cowboy. Number one, number two is he can sing. Oh, he's blessed with the ability to carry a tune. I couldn't carry a tune in a five-gallon bucket. I hope it. Probably don't make sense to you, but it's true. It makes sense to me. I, this I feel you. Cowgirl Hazel. Hi, Hazel. How are you, cowgirl? It's a good-looking hat you got on. At a girl. What is our cowboy name? <laughs> this is cowgirl Hazel. Ah, I like cowgirl Hazel. That a girl. I think my friend Mackenzie has a question for you. Nice. Yes, ma'am. I don't need that step stool. I can get on without. The well, come on. Oh, well, come, come on, on. Mackenzie. You, you're You up. don't have to use that step. Say my cow. Good job. Let me see you. Do. Oh. You don't need it. Oh, you got other, that's good, but you gotta use your other foot. <laughs> at a girl, at a girl. You've been on a horse before. Look at there, at a girl. That a girl. Good for you. I figured you had. I know who's gotten and who hasn't. Okay. You gonna ask her to back up? At a girl. Turn to the right. Now turn right. How you turn to the? At a girl. Yeah. Wow. See? Take that rain on this side of the hand, uh, horn. See your horn? Come over. At a girl. Good job. Come to Jack. We're not going to. Ride her to Jack. You look at where you're going. Come forward. Cluck. And squeeze with your legs. Squeeze with your legs. Squeeze. At a girl. Kick. At a girl. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on, cat. At a girl. Come on, cat. At a girl, cat. Good. Good job. All right. That a girl. Remember, let's go back over this way. We will when we can do Good job, girl. Good job. You did great. Fantastic. You have ridden before. I know. Good, Good job. for you. Can I do it next? Come on, Josh. Josh, you're up. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh, you can sit on him. We, yeah. we won't go anywhere, we'll just no. sit still. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, come on, Caleb, well, let's well, go. I want to go somewhere. <laughs> Have you already ridden, Caleb? I don't think so, right? I haven't ridden. Let's get her over here, Caleb. There you go, buddy, go on up there. And put your foot in that stirrup. Look at there. Can you find that stirrup? Can you climb over? That our boy, pull, pull. Use Good your job. arms. That a boy. Good job, Caleb. Good. Good job. Have you ridden a horse before? Yep. You have? Good. Mm -hmm. You look that good a boy. Horse. This is yes. Cowboy Caleb. 
<laughs> nice to know you, Kay. Well, let's let her stand still, but we got other people that want to get on, okay? Yes, we will do that. Today is just an introduction. I want you to get to know the horse and know the people and the cues and everything, okay? You've got a teacher that can teach you all kinds of things about riding, all right? Like who? Like who? Your regular teacher. Yeah. Or me, one or the other. Yes. She can, she can um, teach us how to ride these horses? Yeah, yes, sure. sure you can. Come on down. <laughs> That'll boy. Do you want to ride the horse? What I want you to do is learn on your pony first, and then we'll go to a bigger horse, okay? Should we... Uh, <laughs> While I get people up, should we get Cowboy uh, Pat up. to sing a song? Sure. Okay. And I'll keep having some kids come up. You want to introduce yeah. him? Tell a little bit about him? Okay, you're, up. you're after Aubrey. Okay. Just so y'all know, this is Cowboy Pat. He's his prof he's from uh, the great state of Iowa. Anybody ever heard of Iowa? Nope. <laughs> well, tell them, Cowboy Pat, where Iowa is. Well, I was in, uh, in the great Midwest. It's farm country, just about... 700 miles from here, up north and west. Wow. I'm going to sing, it a, sing an old song, Jack, that I, I learned from uh, another old friend of mine named Jack, Jack Clement. Taught me this song. It's a song that Gene Autry used to sing. Gene Autry was uh, on TV when I was a kid. He was a cowboy actor. I imagine he was a pretty good cowboy, Gene Autry, wasn't he? I would he? say he was an awesome cowboy. Yeah. This is a song about a horse. Old Faithful, we rode the range together. Old Faithful, through every kind of weather. When your roundup days are over, there'll be pastures white with clover. For you, Old Faithful, pal of mine, Hurry up, old fella, the moon is yellow tonight. Hurry up, old fella, the moon is mellow and bright. There's a coyote howling at the moon above to carry me back to the one I love. To you, old faithful pal of mine. You, old faithful pal of mine. Whee! That was good. All right. Thank you. This is Piper, Cowgirl Piper. Here. Cowgirl Piper, how you like riding cat? You sit good on cat. That a girl. Good job. You do another song? Yeah. Cat? Oh, I didn't have another one. Uh, in mind, I guess, uh, a cowboy song. Hmm. Cowboy song. Happy trails or? What are you Happy know? trails to you. Rory, you might know this better than me. Until we meet again. Happy trails to you. You know what Jack and Law be now and then. Ba -da -da. trails to you till we meet again. Awesome, buddy. Awesome. You're a good learner. I can promise you. That was beautiful. You'll have to, you'll have to get you a horse. Kind of okay? rusty on my happy place. All right. I, what, good job, when did buddy. you learn to play the guitar? You're a natural. You wear a hat natural, uh, too. I was a little older than these kids, I think. Probably seven or eight years old. So you've been doing it for just a little while. Just a little just while. Just a little while. Yeah. It was beautiful. And I got to thank my buddy Jack Lawrence here uh, for putting all the miles on a horse with me. It's very hard to, it's very hard to, get experience with horses. It takes a little doing, and he's given me a lot of good experience, and I really appreciate that. We cowboy a lot together, and it's very, very enjoyable, especially when you get older. You really, really start to look back where y'all are now, and you realize where you came from, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world to be right where y'all are. Yeah. So. Thank you. All right. Thank y'all for having us.
We've been honored to be here. Oh, thank you. This can we take, is an awesome school. Can we take just a couple more questions before you head out? Sure we can. Uh, yes, my, friend, my friend Emily at home wants to know what type of work you do on your ranch. I mainly train horses. I ride, I used to ride a lot of horses for the public, for outside people, uh, mainly for people that have problem horses. So I would learned cowboy ways. I grew up in a rodeo company called Preston Folks Rodeo Company, and I learned early on how to handle and use rust stock. Rust stock is bucking bulls, bucking horses, and you learn how to feed them, how to take care of them, how to use them, load them in bucking chutes. How, how many people here has been to a rodeo? So you'll know what rust stock is. You'll know what bucking horses are. But anyway, I grew up. Uh, had several really good teachers, and I'm very blessed to have the teachers I've got. That's wonderful. And you mentioned earlier that you get on the horse on the left side. Yes, ma'am. My friends on at home want to know why that is. It's just standard. You can mount from both sides. It doesn't really matter, but everything I've ever been taught to do is always approach a horse. You lead from the left. You mount uh, from this side, and it's just mainly familiarity or what the horse is accustomed to. When you're out in wherever in the country or anywhere and you have to get on the other side, you honestly can. Mm -hmm. That is if you set a horse up to train for it. Okay, so as long as uh, you train them yes, that way. It just depends on how they're trained, but 90-something 90, 90 percent of horses are always mounted from the left side. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about the different parts of the saddle? Since yes, sir. I sure, I sure can. The, uh, just to get this out of the way, uh, that's another ranch rope. Uh, ranch ropes are a little different uh, than ropes like you'd rope cattle and stuff with because they got a metal Honda and they have knots tied in the end that holds the Honda on. But they're still very, very practical, but they're soft to touch as you touch them. Um, and then this would be the saddle seat. This is the cantle. Uh, this is your back girth, your front girth, your breast collar. Your breast collar uh, keeps your saddle from sliding back if you're going uphill. Does that make sense? Mm. But this is a very, very, very good deal to show you the parts. This right here that you've been sticking your feet in is a stirrup. This is a fender. Um, but it's just fundamental information. Uh, this, this area here is the gullet. Different horses have different backs, so you have to have a, a certain size saddle to fit a certain size back. So your gullet Gullet is in relationship how big or wide a horse is. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Um, is that, is that yes, ma'am, it is. Oh. That's exactly what it is. Uh huh. You can hold it if you wish. You can feel it. It's just a ranch rope. But that's what I train horses with. There you go. See there? This is okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Pardon? My daddy existed when when care just. When Good. Your dad was around when there were carriages. He probably grew up with carriages, and that's a good thing. Those those are pulling type horses. Yes. Harness horses. I didn't. Oh, you didn't get the feeling? Okay, here. My friend up here has a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Um, I love horses. They're better. Oh, she just wanted to tell you she loves horses. I know she does. How about yes. if we wrap up and tell Cowboy Jack goodbye and thank him for his time and keep probably going to ride off into the sun. Yes. All okay. righty, my friends, have a that. seat and let's say goodbye to our guest teacher, Cowboy Jack. Bye.
and goodbye to Pat. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to see y'all. Yes, ma'am. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, cowboy. You take care, okay? He'll come back, I think, later and get him. Thank you so much for joining us and for bringing your friends with us, Cowboy Jack. Thank you, Thank you for ha Thank having you. me, and I hope Thank you, Pat. y'all will grow to like a horse and find out and learn how to use one, okay? Yes. Good. Thank y'all. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. How about in everybody? <laughs> sit down. Let's watch him right off. Let's watch him right off into... To the yes, blue skies. I will ride into the sunset. Right into yeah, the sunset. Yes. Paddock together, and we have our uh, Thank pony you. out here. Maybe Cowboy Jack can come be with us. Wave bye. Bye bye. 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 See ya. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, hold, hold on. Whoop. My friends can't hear me. What I really want to know, who liked getting on the horse? Okay, now let me ask the next question. I rode it. Who has never been on top of a horse before? Hi, Sh Shiny's feeling a little left out, y'all. I know. Who has never been on a horse before until today? I don't know. Everyone has been on a horse? I know you have. What about our friends at home? That's great. What about our friends at home? Have you guys been on a horse before? Let us know, okay? So what are some things that we learned from Cowboy Jack? We have just a few more minutes. Let's talk about it. Friends at home, what are some things that you guys learned from Cowboy Jack? What side do you get on the horse normally? The left side. What are some, what, are, what do the horses like to eat? Ew, he's pooping. Grass. Grass. Wait a minute, do some, do some horses like blueberries? Yes. Yes. Or carrots and apples. You think Shiny was like, wait a minute, my buddy's leaving. He was probably just saying, come back for me, wasn't he? You guys were really, really awesome. Anything else you guys learned today that you want to say before we, we head with the rest of our day? For me. What else? Let's, okay. Oh. Better say goodbye. All righty. Say goodbye to Shiny. Bye, Shiny. To our friends at home, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. These are challenging times for children and for parents everywhere. Remember that school doesn't just have to be in a building with teachers and desks. School can and should happen everywhere. This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Dottie Friss Foundation, the Happy Davis Foundation, Heart Utilities, and viewers like you.